need some shut eye, matey. You've been setting up dozens of those things all over the jungle. <sighs> Not just setting them up, Quasi. I gotta test them too. See? My critter recorders catch any noise from nearby critters. Record it and tell me the location. Well done, Tweak. Now I think you better get some rest. But I brought some kelp cakes to roast on the fire. Shut eye first. Your kelp cakes will still be here in the morning. <laughs> yeah, okay. that happened to the ashes from our campfire. They were plundered by a jungle ghost. Oh, me oh my. They were probably eaten up by a hungry critter. A critter who steals kelp cakes and ash? There's something more afoot here, matey. Better sound the octave alert. <laughs> Tweak, report please. Looks like something raided our campsite and ate all our food. And the ashes from our campfire. Flappity flippers. What kind of creature eats ashes? A jungle ghost. I've never heard of a jungle ghost, Quasi. Nor have I heard of a creature that eats ashes. Either way, the jungle is no place to be without food. Hmm. Octo Agent Tracker is stationed near your location. I'll have him deliver fresh supplies. Up to Agent Tracker reporting with replacement supplies. Thanks, Tracker. I can't believe all our supplies went missing. I've been checking my critter recorders to see if they recorded any critters coming through camp, but not a peep. Won't do you any good. Jungle ghosts are as silent as a windless night. Legend has it that they raid shipwrecked pirate campsites in the night and things start to go missing. And then the jungle ghost appears. That sneaky spirit will steal the spots right off a leopard. Uh, Quasi, you can't steal a leopard's spots. It says so right here. I downloaded the training manual onto my Octo Watch, so I don't have to flip through all the pages anymore. <gasps> my critter record is picking up a sound. I didn't hear anything. I told you, matey. That's because jungle ghosts are silent. We're almost there. Looks like the floodwaters are moving fast. Reindeer herd below. Are you ready to drop? Ready as I'll ever be. What's that? <gasps> what was that? Look, look, what is it? Attention, reindeer. Don't be afraid. Excuse me. Oh, um, I'm Peso, and that's Dashy up in the Octo Ray. We've come to warn you that there's some hot lava and a flood of water headed your way. Oh, oh no, a flood. Don't worry. It's safe on the other side of the mountain, and Dashy can lead the way. Oh, All right, everybody. Follow that. What do you call that thing? The Octo Ray. Follow that octo ray! Hold on and tighten your flippers. This could get bumpy. The other herd is on the way. So far, so good. How are you getting on, Punny? The floodwaters are right behind us. But we'll make it. See you on the other side of the mountain. Better hurry, Magnus. The floodwaters, they're getting closer. Oh, faster, everyone! Who goes who? Oh, look at all that water. It's covering everything, and fast. Uh, stay uh, on! Oh, my hoof is stuck! Uh, oh, oh, no! It's, ah, Dad! Uh, there you go! Oh, thanks, Dad. Now don't wander off like that. It's dangerous. Quick, the water is coming. Dashi, Bunny here. 
We've made it to the other side of the mountain. That's great, Pony. We're almost there too. Uh-oh. Hey, so some lava's heading towards you. It's going to block your path. Flappity flippers, I see it coming. Oh, no. should keep the path clear for a bit. Thanks, Dashi. Come on, everyone! We made it. Oh, we should be safe. Hey, so, Pony, it looks like the flood and the lava won't reach your position on the mountain. Everyone is officially safe. Peso, sure is nice to see you again. You too, Barney. Hi there, hyena mateys. How does a pirate dog show he's happy? Huh? He gives his tail a scally wag! <laughs> scally wag! He's scally. <sighs> oh, I'd better keep an eye on Quasi. Tweak, now's your chance to sneak past the hyenas and start digging. You got it, Cap. <laughs> Ooh, tough crowd. I've seen sloths with more energy than this audience. <laughs> it worked. Tweak to Dashi and Rala. We're inside the cave. Oh, me oh my. The rocks are a mite unstable, Tweak. Gonna have to go slow or we might have another cave in. Hopefully not too slow. Kato needs my help. Now. Here's another one for you. Do you know what happens when snow blows in my face? I shiver me whiskers! Ha 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 ha! Something's coming on in that cave. Oh dear. Quasi's distraction may not be enough. Hmm. Well, Admiral Sweaty Sock, I know we haven't done our routine since the Polar Scouts talent show, but it's showtime! Hey, everyone! What have we got here? Well, Admiral Sweaty Sock, these lovely hyenas are the audience. Uh, what? Well, I shall entertain them. There once was a scruffy hyena who seemed to get meaner and meaner till she put on a tutu and danced with an emu, and now she's a mean ballerina. <laughs> oh! You're a natural comedian, Captain. Just listen to those hyenas laugh. Oh, I don't think they're laughing. I believe that's the sound they make when they're about to hunt. <laughs> this could take a while. Maybe I can squeeze through that gap in the rocks. Okay, Peso. But be careful. Looks like a dead end. Don't think I can move this rock. <laughs> wow! I'm stronger than I thought. Oh! Oh, I suppose it was you who moved that rock, wasn't it? Mm hmm. Thank you. Hi, so, you're here. And this must be Kato. I'm Peso, and I'm here to help. Now hold still. <laughs> there. Is that better? <sighs> yes. I think I can stand now. <sighs> That's one problem solved. The storm tracker just picked up signs of an approaching storm. And sure enough, those clouds are moving in pretty fast. You wanna see fast? Watch this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, does it hurt? No. Yes, it hurts. Don't worry, I'll bandage it right up. There you go. That should help. Feels better already. Oh, just doing my job. No need to thank me. Wasn't going to. Now, out of my way. Debbie's got a digging race to win. <laughs> well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. It's a tie. Hello, 
H2O. That underground water must have been under a lot of pressure to spew up like that. Soon we'll have a second watering hole for everyone to drink from. No need to panic. We'll keep you safe. And the rain will eventually put out the fire. Oh, but not before it burns up all the grass we eat. First things first, matey. We need to get you all somewhere safe. Good idea, Quasi. And I'll dig a fire brick with the cherry gum, too. That'll protect the surrounding grass from getting burned up. Flappity flippers. Now the fire's spreading from the other direction. You'll never be able to dig a fire break big enough in time, Debbie says. So what? We can dig twice as fast together. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's go! <laughs> yes! The fire break is working! The flames are staying away from our grazing grass! And with nowhere to go, the fire's already burning itself out! What a relief! And now, thanks to you and that honey badger, we have a brand new watering hole! Debbie says, so what? Just glad I could help. I'm Captain Barnacles. I'm Matey! Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go!